Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna be filming a sort of like get ready with me, I'm going out tonight. I've asked on Instagram for people to send me questions that I'm gonna answer. Let's put some music on. So I got this new beauty blender the other day. I need to wet it. I'm gonna start by putting my face oil on my skin because it makes my skin feel really nice. Um, and it's like a good base for makeup. I literally put a couple of drops. Rub it in. So the first question is, who's your biggest influence? I'd probably have to say my biggest influence is my mum. Just because if I turn out anything like her, then I'll be happy basically. <laughs> She's so amazing everything that I'd want to be in a woman basically. <laughs> she wouldn't use any beauty blender. She wouldn't use any beauty beauty blender. It's just so nice. We were having like a a pamper day in our flat and my friend persuaded me to shave my face because we saw it on TikTok and apparently it apparently it's actually good for your skin, helps your makeup go on better, so we did it. And it actually feels so nice. I have an obsession at the moment with having matching concealer to a foundation. I don't know why. I just feel like they, when, when they're matching, they sit on top of each other really well. If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? I've heard a hard question. I'd probably say that I'd be a bird because, like, I don't know what bird, just some type of bird because they like flee the bad weather when they <laughs> they flee the bad weather when they don't like where they're living so like they stay like one place for the summer months like when it's nice and warm and then when it gets like cold they'll move country so they're still in the nice warm weather and i would love to be able to do that all the time because i hate the cold weather you know how people always say the same like i'd love to be on a fly on the wall so you could like listen to people's conversations i'd kind of like to be a fly so I could be on the wall listening to people's conversations. That nosy? Yes. <laughs> okay, the next question is, what is your favorite film? I'd probably say, purely because of the amount of times I've watched it, High School Musical like series has to be my favorite. I just love it. But then I also love the film The Best of Me. I've watched it so many times. It's such a chick flick and it makes me cry every time, but it's a good film. If you're on death row, what would you pick for your starter, main, and dessert? If you're a starter, no brainer. I'd have um, like a camembert or breaded brie, yeah, or something like that. Or actually pate on toast. Love a bit of pate. For my main, I'd probably have, I'd probably have to have a roast dinner chicken roast with lots of Yorkshire puddings, that would be the one. And then dessert would literally just have to be a chocolate, like warm chocolate brownie with ice cream. Yum. Next thing that someone asked me is, are you in love? Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I have been, I think. I don't know, I think sometimes love for each person is different. Like you'll be with one person and you'll think you're in love with them and then you'll meet someone else and it'll be completely different. But I don't know, maybe I've not experienced what love is. Maybe I just think I have. Wow, well, it's getting deep. <laughs> maybe I just think I have, I don't know. But no, currently not in love. My eyebrows always take so long. I've been growing them out recently. Went for a stage in school where they were literally next to nothing. I plucked them all out, biggest mistake. <laughs> Won't ever do it again. How often do you travel? Um, I don't actually travel that much. I wish I could travel more. I don't have the money to travel all the time, really. I think I went to like five or six countries last year, which is quite good. But I'm hoping to travel more once I've earned a bit of money. I've got someone to go with as well. I don't want to go traveling on my own, whether it be friends or like a boyfriend. The next question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? So. I've been wanting to start one for so long, to be fair. Like, it's always been something I've been interested in doing. It's like a hobby. Um, 
and I've always been scared to do it because I've cared what like people have, would think. But recently, like after being away, um, I just kind of realised that I just you just have to go on with your life, like do the things that you want to do without like caring what whatever people think about it. The people that you care about and the people that matter to you are going to support you, and everyone else doesn't matter really. It's also like fun to look back on. Like I vlogged some of my time in in Florida and I'm gonna be able to look back on that like in a couple of years and remember it. Brow gel has become my my best friend. I love it so much. It makes such a difference. What is your all time favorite song? My favorite songs literally change like every week. Justin Bieber is my all time favorite artist. I love him so much. I know that's quite boring, but I generally don't think I could pick a favorite song. The next question is, how do you keep your skin so clear and tanned? So I've never really had bad skin, to be honest. I've been really quite lucky with it. But genuinely, the brand called Skin Kiss that sends me these, sends me these as well. It's genuinely made such a difference to like uneven like skin tones. Um, and I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, I do actually have a discount code for these now, which is Alechandra29, and it gets you 15% off any of the products. You can get them online. I would really recommend it. I do use this like over my whole body and put it on my face as well um, and I feel like it does make a little bit of a difference but generally I think I just have quite lucky I've got quite tan skin generally this is so battered it literally looks disgusting I've had it for so long um, the colours I use are literally nearly run out so definitely need to be getting a new one soon <laughs> the next question someone asked me it said how do you never look bad in photos it's a very nice thing to say. <laughs> I, I just, um, as everybody does, pick the ones that you prefer of yourself to put on Instagram. I think it's really important not to take um, like Instagram and everyone's Instagram photos as reality because like, of course people pick the better photos of themselves to put out publicly. And it's really important not to like look at those people and think, oh, like how it's unfair that they look like that because generally most of the time they don't. <laughs> how many boys are in your DMs? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't count. Um, and I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not interested, really. The next question that someone asked me is pretty deep. What has been your biggest achievement in life so far? Um, I'd generally say passing my exams and all that is obviously a good achievement, but I think the best um, like personal achievement for me has been being able to move away and kind of leave things that I knew weren't good for me and that weren't making me happy. Like kind of doing what's right rather than what's like easy and safe. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing. Like it's difficult sometimes to move away from what you know is the norm even though it's not making you happy so i'm quite happy i had enough courage to be able to move away from those things next thing someone said was do you pee in the shower i think if you don't pee in the shower then you're lying <laughs> everyone pees in the shower they just do don't they really what would you like to accomplish in life that's a deep question. Well, like things that I'd want to do, I want to do a skydive in my life, definitely. Like obviously I want to have kids, I want to get married. Um, but generally like the main thing is that I want to earn enough money and like, like to just live like a comfortable life. Um, obviously I understand that's difficult and there's a lot of people that don't ever make it to that like point. Um, and I guess that's just what everybody wants, but It'd be nice to to get to a stage in life where I didn't have to worry about how my kids were going to grow up or about the things I wanted to do. Deep. These lashes that I'm about to use, by the way, they're literally from Primark. They're the GWA lashes. They're three pounds, and they are so good. They last. They literally last me like months and months. And they're three pounds from Primark, so would recommend. How many piercings and tattoos do you have? I've got one tattoo on my side. 
Um, I want to get another one though. In the process of thinking about booking another one. Piercings. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got my belly button done. Ten. Eleven. Got eleven piercings. What is the first thing you notice in a person? That's a good question. Um, if it was a guy, like the first thing I notice in a guy always is their haircut. I don't know about anyone else, but I feel like I can tell if a guy's good looking by his haircut. Um, but generally, like if I'm speaking to someone, um, it's gotta be how funny they are. Like if they make me laugh. Also someone's eyes. Eyes are so important. If someone's got nice eyes them they're winning fashion sense as well notice someone's fashion sense definitely someone asked me if i've got any regrets i don't think i have any regrets like don't get me wrong there's probably things in my life that i would do slightly differently but i don't think you can have any regrets in your life because i think at that time when you made that decision that's what you wanted to do and i think it's important to do what you want to do at, in the moment not think too much about the future because life's too short. Never really found a lipstick that I've actually liked um, before. I always felt feel like it's really difficult with blonde hair and blue eyes to find a lipstick that actually looks okay and doesn't look too much. But this one, I love it. The Revolution Matte. Um, head turner the last question someone asked me would you rather have love with heartbreak or never love at all i'd definitely rather have love with heartbreak i think like love's one of the best feelings ever and i'd much rather feel it like and be heartbroken many a times than to never feel it at all that is the end of this video. Um, I need to do my hair in a minute um, and get changed, but I am going to leave it here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another video.